Welcome to this week's Maryland's Missing and the Murdered. Maryland's Missing and the Murdered is a weekly YouTube channel that covers the topic of missing and murdered individuals from the state of Maryland. This week I am covering four cases involving the murders of children. I hate doing these stories because they make me so sad reading about murders of children by their parents. It is very heartbreaking. On May 10, 2020, Emmanuel Humes called police about his six-year-old daughter, Abigail, as he found her unresponsive on the floor in their home in Suitland, Maryland. Emmanuel Humes was home supervising all four of his children. When paramedics took Abigail to the hospital, she was pronounced dead. Police investigating learned that Mr. Humes regularly was abusing Abigail. On June 17, 2020, police charged Emmanuel Humes with assault and child abuse charges. On August 10, 2020, the autopsy revealed previously healed broken ribs and other internal trauma. It was that point Mr. Humes was charged with murdering Abigail. Abigail's mother, Jasmine Stevenson, was charged with 10 counts of neglect of a minor, child abuse, and accessory after the fact. Their trials begin in September 2021. On October 3, 2015, police were called to Jeffrey McKinney's home in Baltimore, Maryland for a report of an unresponsive child. Five-month-old Norrin Torbett was found unresponsive by her grandmother and was doing CPR while awaiting paramedics. Unfortunately, Norrin was stiff and declared deceased. Police investigating learned that she was crying and her father, Jeffrey, put pillows on top of her. When he realized she was unresponsive, he went downstairs to ask about her. The family searched the home, found Norrin, and called the police. Police arrested Jeffrey McKinney for second-degree murder. He used an Alfred plea on January 24, 2017 and was sentenced to 18 years. He is currently incarcerated in Hagerstown, Maryland. I was, I was unable to find any pictures of little Norrin. On January 7, 2019, police responded to an apartment on Green Street in Haver de Grace, Maryland for a report of an unresponsive child. When paramedics arrived, they found five-year-old Aubrey Hickman. They flew her to Johns Hopkins Hospital for treatment. Police questioned Aubrey's mother, Haley, who said she went to the bathroom and left her boyfriend, Brenton Mills, along with the children. Brenton lied about being alone with the kids and told their mom, Haley, to lie as well. Aubrey's older brother told police that he saw Brenton throw Aubrey to the floor. Unfortunately, on January 11, 2019, Aubrey died. Autopsy revealed that she had massive bra brain clots and a broken arm and collarbone. In December 2019, Brenton Mills was charged with second-degree murder. On November 10, 2020, he agreed to plead guilty to child abuse, leading to death for the murder charges to be this dismissed. He will be sentenced on April 6, 2021. On April 28, 2019, in Baltimore, Maryland, police responded to an unresponsive child call and found 22-month-old Caleb Shaw deceased. His mother, Shakira, stated that she left sleeping Caleb in bed and to take a shower around 5 p.m. When she came back, Caleb's lips were blue. Caleb died at Johns Hopkins Hospital. The medical examiner ruled that he died a natural death from a heart arrhythmia. Eight months later, Shakira Shaw called the police and asked, quote, how long would someone go to jail for admitting they did something to their child, end quote. That call sent police to her home where she confessed that she wrapped Caleb in covers to suffocate him and when that did not work, she put her hand over his face and took a shower. She claimed that she heard the voice of two babies, one she aborted in October 2016 and one she miscarried in November 2019, telling her to kill Caleb. 
After her confession, the medical examiner updated the death certificate to asphyxia homicide. On September 10, 2020, Shakira Shaw was charged with first-degree murder and child abuse leading to death. Her trial will begin in May 2021. Thank you for joining me this week. If there is a Maryland missing or murdered case that you would like to see on this channel, email me at marylandsmissing at gmail.com. Music is by Silent Vengeance. Sources will be listed in the outro. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell so you will be notified when the next cases are released. I will see you again next week. Be kind to one another. You never know what will happen tomorrow.